for Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki! I don't break. The mics are always broken. Uh, what is your initial instinct to grab the mic? Because the mic is always here for me. <laughs> so I have I, either I do this, right? which is strange, or I have to. Right. So unfortunately, we dress the same today. We both wore our beards. Megan. Uh, hi guys and gals, welcome to Texas, y'all. Very excited to be here. I will be, uh, as, as I sweat through all of my shirts, I will be changing to other Texas themed shirts. But, but, not taking off his winter hat. It's, it's a beanie. I'll, I'll change my clothing. But the hat stays. <laughs> it stays. Yeah. No questions. Uh, how many? How many from Texas? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Please that one. How many from uh, the Dallas? Uh, <laughs> how many from? How many from Collin County? <laughs> how many from Plano? Losers. <laughs> it's a uh, how many? How many from San Antonio? Richardson. Uh, got some San Antonians. Yes. All right. What about Bexar County? Yes. Yeah. I said Bexar. You know Bear County? Uh, it's B E X A R. So San Antonio's in Bear County. Yeah. But it's B E X A R. And for probably 30 years of my life, I was like, yeah, Bexar County. It's Bear County. I was like, it's Bexar County. There's an X in there. So you guys just decided to add a letter and not use it? I didn't add it. I didn't do this. Guys, I think what we're missing here is an X. <laughs> Why is that? X marks the spot. Do we X, say it? X no, we're not going to say it. That'd be ridiculous. Just put it in there. They'll figure it out. Ah, <laughs> uh, San Antonio. Bexar County. Um, how many from Sheboygan? Excited to be here, uh, excited to be in Texas, uh, excited for those non-Texans to see some of Texas. Uh, to see a couple Texans in Texas. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. And then Texas also was part of Texas, and Texas happened in... Yeah. yeah, no, we get it. That's fine. <laughs> in that case, uh, let's open... I, I, I see a hand. That was quick. Okay. Texan hand? No, nope, never mind. <laughs> Like uh, Oklahoma? Yeah. Or what? North Carolina. Um, so I'm in the middle of planning my wedding right now. Wow. And so <laughs> I'm... Uh, You'll look back on this and be like, why did I care? <laughs> so much about the napkins. Yeah. Uh, so that's my question. I wanted to know if you left everything up to your wives or if you were super involved with your wedding plan. Oh, I was super involved, but it looked like this. Whatever you want. I I was big time involved. I I, I bought uh, I bought the ring. I asked her a question. <laughs> he was there. I was present. He showed up. Uh, yes, that is. He he was jokingly saying something, but it's so true. We were so stressed out. Genevieve and I were so stressed out about every aspect. Who sits with who, and what's the silverware going to be, and how many flowers are there? 
And then, and then you get there and you say your vows and everybody's dancing and you're like, you know what? It was just want to dance and have a few drinks and have a good time and uh, it'll be great. Congratulations. Where are you getting married? Uh, thank you. Um, I'm getting married in Elon. It's Is that like, North Carolina? Yeah, it's North awesome. Carolina. It's like 30 minutes outside of Greensboro, an hour outside of Raleigh. Very cool. Where is, your, where is your worser half right now? He's actually in Chicago right now at Second City. No way! Doing, doing comedy studies, no. yeah. Really? Yeah. Nice. Very cool. We have some uh, Second City folks on our show. Um, so, um, I'll give you the one piece of advice that I got that I, I was glad to get. And that was, on the day, there's going to be a lot coming at you. A lot of people, if you've got a wedding coordinator, they're going to be in your ear. You've got family that you haven't seen in a while, friends that want to talk to you. It's going to be a lot. Take a minute with you and, 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 and your man and take it in. Just, just look around and understand what you brought together. Because a lot of times, it happens and it's over. And it's like, what was that? And you put so much time into planning it, step back and enjoy it. Yeah, that's... Thank you so much. Yeah, very cool. About right here in the front. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, my question is, do you have anything before... Sorry. <laughs> do you have anything that they'll do either before or after the con, like a tradition or anything like that? That's a great question. Okay, going over here. <laughs> Do we have anything? Bef do we do anything before? Uh, hmm. Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. Starbucks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Every day. We have an amazing team here that makes sure that we are provided with proper caffeine in the morning. Uh, yeah. All right. That's it. Uh, I don't know. Do we? Uh... Yeah. Every every convention, <clears throat> our morning starts when we get here. Uh, I have an iced coffee from Starbucks. Yeah. You have what? Do you, what is that? Just a just latte, americana. Okay. Uh, and a, a breakfast sandwich from uh, Starbucks. Uh, and then after, we usually fly back to film because it's usually during the season because we film for so long. Um, but also, generally, when we are during season, uh, Jensen. Cliffy and I will we'll fly to a city, check into our hotel, and go to a steakhouse on Saturday. Nice. Um, How do you take your steak? What's that? How do you take your steak? I yeah. like Rockenberry. Yeah. <laughs> Medium rare. Yes. Char. Yes. With a lot of butter. Make a what? Nick and Sam. Yeah, Nick and Sam's amazing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. So, and then Sunday we usually fly back to, to did work. Did you get a steak last night? I didn't. I did. <laughs> I had a venison steak you, last You went. True. I did. Point. I'll have one on two tonight. Um, yeah, I, it, it also depends. Like, I came in and was on this stage with some uh, talented musicians last night. So. <laughs> uh, so that's that for me is kind of kicking it off. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You get up and work out generally. I got up today and did uh, Insanity T25. There you go. <laughs> Speed 1.0. Yeah. Uh, I sleep as late as I possibly can. Yes! <laughs> and then get up, pack up, and head downstairs. That's my routine. Are you heading back to Austin tonight? Mm, no, I'm going to stay and visit with uh, my folks tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go. It looks like green hair, almost way back there. Yes. Yes. Is that green? It's like blue. Oh, my bad. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, hi. So, um, this is kind of a weird question, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to ask. If you guys embody an onomatopoeia, like that word that like represents sound and stuff. What do you think you would be? Bang! <laughs> <laughs> or canal! Or whoosh! <laughs> or, I know this isn't onomatopoeia, but OMG. <clears throat> Those are my four You would embody OMG? <laughs> that would be used I mean, to describe you? Look closer. <laughs>
That's how you say it. It's, oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's right. It's, all, it's a whole new collection. What would yours be? That's, a, that's, a, that's the first time I've ever been asked. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, like, doink. <laughs> doink? I think she won. I don't even, don't even answer. I'm not, because I was trying to come up with something, but that just, that kind of usurps everything, so. <laughs> Doink and OMG, which is not a term, yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for the question. Uh, and thanks for the turquoise hair, not green. Sorry, it's at a, a, a decent distance, so. Right. No judge. I... Nope. Yep, nope, it's coming. Here it comes. In three, two, one. Good morning. Good morning. I thoroughly enjoyed listening to you live for the first time last night. Oh, oh nice. amazing. I love your sound, like you totally wailed last night. Like OMG. <laughs> no. No, that was whole oh my God. More like doink. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> They've obviously, bits and pieces have you kind of taken them in, and I'm just curious, like, what, what are you really going to miss about the characters? Like, is there any one certain thing that you really find a lot of joy in? <clears throat> I think uh, it was really funny because we had a bit of time off. Um, you know, we finished filming on March 26th and had our rap party and uh, went to Europe <clears throat> and Australia, and I think I'm sort of, I still was sort of in season mode, you know? And then we got to the upfronts in New York, um, and I re when I, I had a question maybe similar, uh, and it occurred to me, and it occurred to Jensen as well, uh, so I was going to speak to both of us. I, I, I'm not saying goodbye to this character. I hope it forever be a part of my life. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll always know Sam, and he'll always have been some part of me, immeasurable, I'm sure. But um, yeah, I, I, uh, hopefully I'm saying see you later. You know, because I think there are parts of Jerry that uh, were affected by Sam and what Sam went through, who he was, who he is. Um, <laughs> it's too early in the morning to cry, so I think we'll stick with that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I echo that as well. I, I don't think these characters are ever going to, I don't think we'll ever say goodbye to them. I think they are, uh, they're kind of woven into the, the, the fabric of our, our makeup and, and who we are as, as individuals. And I think for many years we have pulled on uh, aspects of our own personalities and our own selves to craft this character. Um, so it all comes from a place that, that is within us already. So I think that that character, you know, I don't think we're going to be, uh, I don't think we're in danger of being multi-personalities uh, in the future. Of course, who knows? Um, I, my wife has said to me several times, like, why are you talking like Dean? Because uh, I am Dean. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I will say that what I will miss about playing me is many things. One, just I, I'll miss his badassery. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I will, because 
you know, as <laughs> as a functioning person of society, you don't really get to do the things that Dean does. Uh, and, and I will miss, you know, walking in with all the confidence in the world and, and lopping a vampire's head off or, uh, you know, throwing the, the a 67 Impala and do a reverse 180. And like, I, I'll miss those cool things that we get to do. And I know he will too. Um, but. I can always kick in a door. Yeah, I was just gonna mention that. <laughs> um, but I, but settled with that, with the, the missing of that assery, I'll miss the humility that is also peppered in to these characters. And I think that that's what makes them real to us. It's what makes them real to you guys, is the, the balance. But, you know, you, you can't just have somebody who's, who's always a badass and never, uh, never breaks. <laughs> There's got to be that balance, there's got to be that, that vulnerability, and I think that that's something that, uh, having that, that, those two extremes, we get to play that, it's, it's cathartic, I think, for me and I both, and I will miss being able to do that. It's going to suck. It is. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. It's, just, it's, so, it's such an emotional thing. Thank you. I'm going to go way to the right, the farthest right. I, I, I saw you with your hand up. Yeah. Fight. <laughs> okay, you've probably never been answered this, or never answered a question like this. It's really truthfully silly. Okay, we're gonna go somewhere else. No, 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 it's real fast, I promise. My husband's 6'5 and has a really long torso. Okay. Where in God's green earth do you get shirts to cover long torsos, Jared? He doesn't. Neither does my husband. If he takes a deep breath, you'll see half his abdomen. I shrink the t-shirts. So. I thought you were going somewhere else. I know, I know. I knew you were going to do that. <clears throat> yeah. I'll keep it clean and G-rated, I promise. Um, sorry, I'm still getting over where I thought the question was going. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I, I will say this. On, 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 so t-shirts? You know what they say about guys with long torsos. <laughs> Not true. Short shirts. Yes. <laughs> Did you say not true? It's called jumbo shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. He's dirty. He's awesome. <laughs> I wish I recorded this with him. Oh my god, that is now his new nickname, jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Larger parts, not so large in all parts. <laughs> oh, I wish he was here right now. Oh, he doesn't wish he was here. <laughs> He's happy not being here right now. Actually, probably too many girls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not too many girls, girls not yes. enough shrimp. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Please don't apologize. Um, I'd rather laugh than cry. Uh, Same. We, 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 <laughs> uh, honestly, Glenn Tuckett has great shirts, and you can get them in, like, tall guy or long form. Yeah. Long form. Okay. Long form. Yeah. They That's come new. in. They come like in full, small, full jumbo, medium, full jumbo, large, and that needs jumbo to be shrimp. A size. Full jumbo. <laughs> There's extra jumbo shrimp, don't get that. That's... Probably not my taste. Probably. Are Put a little cocktail friends? sauce on that, you'll be fine. Cocktail sauce? We're gonna need another cleanup on aisle one. Cocktail spill? Thank you for your question. Thank you, baby. Uh, you, were, you were correct. I've never answered the question like that. It is Sunday morning, y'all. Come on. In Texas.
Oh, I don't want to go. <laughs> All right, far back, plaid, red plaid shirt. Yeah, that's you. Next to Norwegian. Hi. Hi, I'm Holly. Hi. Hi, my question is for both of you. Hi. I was wondering how you guys learned to put yourselves first and love yourselves first. Still learning every day. Just, it's, it's, you don't learn it. It's something you have to try and work for, right? Um, I think if there's a great quality that people have to give to others, to want to help others, uh, but there's that kind of famous thing, if anybody's been on an airplane, where you put the oxygen mask on yourself first. So, yeah, just love yourself and deserve it. There's a great quote uh, from a book. Uh, it says, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. So, if you wouldn't do something or say something to somebody else, then don't do it or say it to yourself. You know, help others and help yourself. I love you. I'm back. I just look in the mirror and go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go right here. <laughs> Can we just take a take, can we just take a quick pause and admire the Jason Mann's shrine? I know. Back at the theater because is uh, do we like candles in front of it? Or? Yeah. The remembering Jason Mann's guy. He's here, guys. But he's here. <laughs> he was standing right here last night. It's all Rich's fault. Right there? Blame Rich. Blame Rich? Yeah. I, I think you said enough. Blame Rich. How are you? I feel bad. I feel like I should tell Jason that he's missing. He knows. He knows. No? No? He knows. Oh, he knows. He's aware. Yeah. I would hope so. <laughs> Hi. Um, we both have hometown related questions for you, Jensen, but also for you, Jared. Mine is, since we're in your hometown, what, what can you tell us about a time you got in trouble as a teenager? <laughs> uh, that was for you. <laughs> I was perfect. <laughs> was, uh... Hey, your mom's over can there. I, can I pass? <laughs> on this one? Nope. Oh. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I wasn't. I wasn't that bad of a kid. Uh, I. I did. I did things that I shouldn't have. But I. I. I know that now. <laughs> and that makes it up for it, right? That's, that's how that works. Who <laughs> killed a guy with a fucking? Let's see. I will say that. Uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the highway system, but I think I was. Uh, Pretty close, just just north on on 75 here, when five police cars pulled me over and threw me into the the, the shoulder of the, on the side of the highway, handcuffed me, and that was fun. It was also about three in the morning, so I was about 17. What did you do? Yeah. What did I do? Yeah. Can't tell you. <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they cleared the entire highway and followed us for about a mile. And, uh, and then we pulled over and then they all stopped, pulled out guns and talked to us on the PA. Please exit the vehicle with your hands in the air. What'd you do? But I was a good kid. I, uh, <laughs> it's not a lot that I, I, I didn't get. That, that was about it. That was one. I was, I was in Allen, Texas, which is just just a little further north of here. Uh, yeah, my parents were not pleased that evening. <laughs> or the next day. Or the next day. Still or the, the following day. month. I was grounded. <laughs> because I was in prison. <laughs> Morning, guys. Uh, one more hometown related question. So, Jensen, you're from Dallas, you're a fellow Texan. Uh, Jensen, especially Jared, you as well. What are some of your favorite local Dallas beers? Oh, beers! Oh, wow. 
more of that uh, Tough stuff. McKinney is doing some really, really good stuff. Um, they've, they're, I, I, I like them right now. Yeah, I don't often know any uh, any Dallas. And Deep D Bell makes some good stuff. Too. Oh, Deep Bell makes good stuff. Okay, yeah, I, I've had Deep Bell. Yeah, Deep That's Bell good. makes some good stuff. Blood um, Honey is best. Yeah, Blood Honey was also Dallas. Yeah. yeah, also great. Awesome. Well done, Dallas. Uh, any suggestions? Oh goodness, um, I like Temptress. I think that's a Dallas one, but I'm not. I'm like, yes. Yes. thank you guys. What's the brewery? Uh, Lakewood. Lakewood. Yeah, yeah okay. that's a good one. And then uh, there's one in a can. Uh, Bellum IPA, something like that. But yeah, really good. Cool. Yeah. Velvet Hammer? I have Velvet What's the brewery? Cool. There's just so many beers and so little time. Uh, red what are you jacket. doing right now? Red Jacket. Okay, first of all, um, holy crap. Uh, second of all, okay, so I have a SFX related question. So, like, you guys go back and watch some of the episodes sometimes, right? Like, when. We have to. Okay. Well, when Dean kills Abaddon, probably one of my favorite special effects death moments. You killed Abaddon? What? Yeah. Yeah. So, because you guys know how it works and you know what happens behind the scenes, does it kind of ruin the magic whenever you go back and watch it? Because we're like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But you guys know how it works and you're like, oh, that's not that cool. Does it kind of like ruin it for you? Uh, no. <clears throat> when, when, so I don't think, have you seen every episode of the show? I have certainly not. Uh, no. No, I think I do have. So. <laughs> I have. That was perfect. Well timed. Um, uh, yeah. I, but I, I think there's. I think I probably count on one hand how many I like that I haven't seen. I think. Not yeah. You've yeah. seen most of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I I have not. Um, but I when I do see them, and I'm going to watch them. I, I, it's not that I'm not interested in watching the show. It's. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll watch them for sure. Um, but when I watch the show, it's mommy. I haven't seen Daddy in like two weeks. Yeah, honey, he's watching himself. <laughs> Seven more weeks. And He'll be back with us in a month. Uh, I feel like it's it's the same as maybe cooking. You know, just because you grated the cheese yourself it doesn't mean that when you have the pizza to eat that it's any less. He just makes nachos. <laughs> and I don't make nachos. So when you grate the cheese, when you pull the cheese out, you make uh, the idea is I love I, I love storytelling. I I love what I do in front of the camera. I love that process of learning uh, parts of a story, part of a character to tell the story. I don't necessarily think of the story as a whole quite yet, uh, but I enjoy. It's almost for me. It's it's it actually enriches I think, the experience. Is going like, oh my god, that looked awesome. Like, I had no idea because we're on set, you know, standing in front of a mark and trying to make sure we know our lines. And then you see the finished product, it almost enriches it for me. Um, yeah, that that particular scene was it, it was difficult. Uh, Elena had to, she was wearing a harness um, and had to be like, you know, they had guys on a, a, a rope system and she was hoisted into the air and then. As she kind of ran towards me, and I had the uh, we have the the blades that we use. Um, we have retractables, so um, I'd be worried if you didn't. <laughs> well, have a retractable. The 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 actual Whoops. it's just the hilt of the of the, the knife, and then there's a <clears throat> there's like a, a a little rod that goes out that that retracts. So we, and it just gives. It just gives the special effects. There's just a J rod that retracts. It's not like a jumbo shirt. And uh, it, it's basically just a, a, a marker for the visual effects guys to then put in the knife uh, in post. But it, it can be very tedious, those, those particular scenes. 
So like Jared said, it is very nice when you actually see the finished product, you see all the effects that have been built into it, you realize that uh, just hanging in a harness for 11 hours was worth it. And oh, they didn't make me look like an idiot. Unless you're talking about the season finale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, season 12. Uh, next question, please. Oh, season 13. 13. See, I, I, I try to forget it. Never take the show off of Netflix because I want my children to experience it. Okay, then we'll make sure to never take it off. <laughs> okay, cool. Done. We'll, we'll yeah. call Netflix. And it is so. Uh, I think that's it for us, guys. We're out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Going. Mm. And some jumbo shrimp. See you.